Tony K, Mr. Fix It. What's going on, DIY world? I'm done with the butcher block uh, top that I made. I have it all oiled and sealed, and uh, I was able to make two butcher block uh, pieces out of it, cutting boards out of it. Gave one to a neighbor and uh, kept one. Let's take a look. You'll see, like I said, how I was going to do it. We're going to have an overlap of about an inch here, and then this comes out. So now it gives a new, more of a bar stool. Your knees can get under there. And it's a lot better feel of a bar stool situation. My cutting board, I used an oil. I rubbed the oil right into this. There's uh, all kinds of different suggested types of oils. We didn't want to change the color too much, but we like this you know, light to dark scenario. And uh, my cutting board, I bought one of these spinny thingies here. I got this little protector so it doesn't hurt anything. And now we have a nice little cutting board out of the end piece too. So this is all set. Now the next problem is, should we paint this? This is great, we want some opinions, please. I want you to hit subscribe, and then I want you to hit, go into my comments and tell me, should we paint this white, the leg, the chairs, this, to match the cabinets? Or do we leave it gray because it kinda matches the floor and it kind of matches the back wall that we're going to repaint. So I don't know. Does the gray throw off the color of the bottom cabinets and the white? Uh, let us know. We're, we're having a hard time on what we should do here. Um, my wife says, hey, leave it alone. I say, I'm not sure. I'm not a designer. But what the heck, you know? Anyways, it's the end of the day. It's Miller time. Sorry, bud, you lost me. So thank you all. As usual, I appreciate you. Remember, subscribe. It's so important, please. And I want some comments. Give me some comments. Get, get back to me and let me know what you think about the colors. Thank you very much. Bye.